Welcome to Wales! And the landscape has changed a lot from the Cotswolds. It's really beautiful. It's more wild here in Wales. More like mountainous and even more green and less civilization. Here's a challenge. All right. How about you speak with a Welsh accent? Where are we staying tonight? In a cabin in the wild. That's the only thing I can say. Is that even Welsh? At the roundabout, take the six exit and a stay cabin in the wild. I'm not sure if we're actually staying in a cabin in the wild, but it's fun to say. We drove into Wales and it's just been raining ever since. It's like it rains all the time here. And then we got to our little hostel where we are right now. And, and there's nothing to do. On a scale from 1 to 10, how sad are you right now? 1.5. That's pretty damn sad. Zero being the most sad. No. Yes! You said 1 to 10, 10 being the most sad. No, I didn't say that. Amy is about to snap. Done with my shit for the day. She's tired. She's hangry. We're waiting for our food. It's rainy. It's cold. Hopefully tomorrow brings a better day. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So that little cabin right there is where we slept last night. Had a really good sleep. Amy didn't, but I did. So I'm feeling great. As you can see, this place is gorgeous. It really is unfortunate that it rained so much yesterday. But that's all right, weather's looking great today. See, completely overcast. And we're ready to head to the next destination. What is that, Ames? A castle. A Welsh castle, looking forward to that. Epic. So many castles in this country, I had to only pick one, it was really difficult. Yeah, you can just walk into any random field in Wales and you'll find a castle. It's the country with the most castles per square kilometer in the entire world. They have so many. Ah, oh, we're just having such a beautiful drive through the Welsh landscapes. And we just had to take a little stop here, guys, because check this out. Aw, really? <laughs> These sheep are smarter than they look. <laughs> So many green little hills. This is good for the spirit. So we just decided to stop again <laughs> because Amy and I are just amazed by these landscapes. And they've changed so much. We've driven for like 10 minutes since our last <laughs> yeah. stop and they're completely different. You know, if you look over there, it's just trees. Yeah. And then if you look here, it's just plains. And then the, the so sheep impressed. are just like chilling. Sheep are just everywhere. On the, the side of the road. Yeah, they're completely <laughs> free here. So they actually, they walk onto the road. So you have to be careful when you drive. <laughs> and so we start our Wales adventures along the epic mountains, dense forests, and wide open fields of Brecon beacons. Before long, we arrive at Carrig Cannon Castle. We're on our way up to the castle. Ah, it is really nice, wow. On the top of a hill, you can only imagine hundreds and hundreds of years ago, these people living in there. And so we start our trek up to the ruins on the hill, breathing in the crisp and fresh Welsh air that's clearly doing us a lot of good. The 15 minute hike up to the castle is incredible, surrounded by misty hilly farmlands in every direction you look. It's like we've stepped right into an old British painting. We are on a, what's the top of a valley called? 
You are on top of a valley. Hill? <laughs> <laughs> How great. And then if you look that way, not him, the castle. <laughs> The castle goes back 700 years to the time of the ruthless King Edward Longshanks. It was demolished by Yorkists in the Wars of the Roses in 1462, which explains why it looks like it does today. What's really cool about Kara Cannon is that you get the freedom to explore the ruins without a set path making you kind of feel like a badass adventurer a la Indiana Jones. The views are epic. Yeah. Oh, this is prime real estate. I think we'll make an offer. After we finish our siege on Kara Cannon Castle, it's time our battalion heads back to the car for a one and a half hour drive to the Welsh coastal town of Tenby. We're in the town of Tenby. Little coastal which town. Is the first bit of coast we've seen in the UK. Now, the UK isn't famous for beaches, but this large beach with Tenby Castle on the rocks, it's a surprisingly epic sight. Now, we're actually in Italy. We're actually in Italy. We just drove to Italy. As yeah. you can see, all the little colorful houses behind us, they've been inspired by Italy. But actually, we're in Wales, you'd never guess it. Look at the beach, it's huge. It smells like a British beach because you smell the ocean and you smell the fish and chips. <laughs> Lots of vinegar on those chips. Mm, yeah. It's making me hungry. 1200 years ago, Tenby started out as a small settlement due to the town's strategic location as a harbor. Nowadays, this little medieval town is perfect for some good wonderlusting. Travelers can enjoy the sight of the iconic colored houses overlooking the beach. Or you can explore the original town walls that have survived throughout the centuries. Are you excited? I'm really excited. This looks like some badass fish and chips, babes. Yeah, I haven't had like fish and chips with vinegar before. We always eat it with ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. We're really integrating now. The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. The time has come for the ultimate Welsh culinary experience. Ah, it's so great chilling on the beach. I missed the beach and the ocean. Haven't seen it very much in our London apartment. Just like that, before you even know it, you're enjoying the music of seagulls on a Welsh beach. I'll pay you 20 bucks if you swim to that island over there. I think I'm good. Right here on my little rock. Real. I'll even buy you an ice cream. Well, now I'm going. <laughs> 